Hello. This is a demonstration of RF Smart for NetSuite. RF Smart is a global leader in mobile WMS solutions for distribution, manufacturing, retail, and e-commerce companies. A built for NetSuite application, RF Smart is a managed bundle which allows you to install and implement the solution very quickly. RF Smart has more than 700 customers around the world, and that's given us the opportunity to fine-tune our application. We provide customers with best practice functions that drive supply chain performance and make the system very intuitive for the end user. So let me show you. First, let's go through the purchase order receiving process. The first screen in this mobile function is asking for the PO number. Typically, vendors will send the packing slip along with the inventory to be received. If that's the case and your PO number is on the packing slip, you can type it. If it's barcoded, you can scan it. Or you can use the load purchase orders button to get a list of POs that are in a status that can be received. I'll scan my purchase order number. Now it's time to tell the device the items and quantities we are receiving. This can be done by scanning barcodes that are already on the items coming in, or by using the touchscreen capabilities to select an item. When scanning, RF Smart can recognize a barcode of your item number or any other UPC that you have cross-referenced on the item master inside of NetSuite. I'll use the touchscreen capabilities to select the flashlight. Once the item has been selected, we're presented with information about the purchase order line. You can see along the top that we show the item number, description, and quantities relevant to the status of the purchase order line. We also have the ability to bring in a thumbnail image for visual validation. The prompt on this screen is for the quantity to be received, but before we enter a quantity, let's discuss the buttons along the bottom of the screen. First is the complete button. Pressing this button will insert the quantity remaining to be received for the PO line into the quantity prompt. The second button gives you the ability to print labels. This is important if your product is arriving without barcodes on them. RF Smart comes with standard labels, but we also give our customers the ability to change the label designs to meet their desired look. The third button is the Update UPC button. This button allows users to update the UPC code associated to an item instantly. And one last button to mention is the Calculator button on the right side of the screen. The Calculator button gives the user the ability to do quick math and bring the results back into the quantity prompt. To show some additional visual validations RF Smart offers, I'll enter a partial quantity for this item. Now we are back to the Collect Item screen and you can see that there has been a color change of the line we began receiving. RF Smart offers three colors to signify the status of each purchase order line. Red, which means we haven't received any quantities of that line. Yellow indicates we've received a partial quantity. And the third color is green, which signifies that we've received the expected quantity. Let's receive the complete quantity of the mug now to see it turn green. Before we press Submit and complete the receiving of these items and quantities, Let's take a look at the purchase order in NetSuite. You can see that the status is pending receipt. As I press submit on the device, RF Smart will instantly create the item receipt record in NetSuite and update the order to the appropriate status. Next, let's discuss and look at the stock counting functionality that RF Smart offers. There are three ways to count using RF Smart. A full stock count, which can be likened to a planned full physical inventory. A dynamic stock count, which is commonly used for spot checks and ad hoc counts, and a directed count. The directed stock count most closely resembles what most people consider a cycle count. So let's see how it works. The Create Stock Count form in NetSuite is where you will go to create a count and designate whether it's a stock count or a directed stock count. On this form, there are a couple of required fields. The first is the location, and the second is the count name. I'll name my count test. If this were a stock count, I would flag the create empty count sheet box and press submit. If I want this count to be directed, I'll flag the use directed count button and then use the rest of the criteria on this page as filters to determine the items the mobile user will be directed to count. RF Smart gives you several options for filtering your items to go onto a directed count. You can use the start and end date filters for a range of items that have a next count date between the selected dates, or you could choose items based on the item classifications, or even combine filters to give you a more granular list. Another popular way for customers to count is using the from bin and to bin range. This can designate specific areas in the warehouse to go onto the count. RF Smart also gives you the ability to add custom filters. This means that you can bring in any field from the item record and use it as a filter for counting even custom fields that have been added over time. You can see below that I've added a few to my form. I'll use the start and end date filters for this example. 
Once I've added my criteria into the filters, I can then press the Apply Filters button. We will then see a list of all the items that met the criteria above. From there, I can select all of the items to be brought back or only select the individual items I want to count. Next, press Submit. Once the form is refreshed, we can see those items that were selected, but now we can see the bins associated with those items, and each of those has a line. To push this count out to the device so that the users can count it, we'll press Start Count. Now we'll go to the device and navigate to the Stock Count Directed function. The first screen will prompt for the count. Pressing the Load Stock Counts button will provide a list of counts available to be executed. Once we select our count, it will bring in the lines to be counted. The user can select the line they would like to count and blindly complete it. As each line is counted, RF Smart updates the count line in NetSuite for real-time visibility. With RF Smart, your supply chain is mobile, accurate, and in real time. These were just two examples of the processes that can help you reduce costs, gain efficiency, and increase visibility within your supply chain.